Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the DC TV shows. Today we're going to be doing another video, and today we've got some interesting questions from you guys, some great topics to talk about, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So again, this is the video where I'm going to be answering your guys' topic questions theories and ideas so if you want to be featured in one of these videos please be sure to go over to the community tab right now there is a new post that i would have posted just before this video goes out and you guys might have your topic question theory or idea answered in the next video that i do like this so this is an ongoing thing that i'm going to be doing over the summer and i know you guys have been enjoying it and i love doing it so let's go ahead and get into the first question this comes from gabriel on youtube who asks how will the recasting of Batwoman affect the upcoming Batwoman crossover and Batwoman's relationship with Supergirl? So as of right now, we don't know what's happening with that crossover that was proposed earlier this year. That being to do with Superman and Lois and Batwoman because that was announced before the news came out regarding Batwoman. So in regards to that, I'm probably supposing that they are going to continue with their crossover plans. But I think they might actually change the show over from not being Batwoman to say like the Flash or something because I don't know if it would completely work if you know you have this new recast Batwoman obviously apparently it's not going to be recast it's going to be like a different character completely and I just feel like it probably makes more sense if it's like an already established thing like you know the Flash or something like that crossing over with Superman and Lois a new show then have that new Batwoman actually come into that crossover so that's probably what I propose to do with this crossover you know change it from Batwoman because season 2 will be very different and I think a lot of people will have a hard time sort of buying into this new person because you know the lead of the show has left and it's going to be completely different you can sort of suggest from just even looking at it so anyway and Batwoman's relationship with Supergirl what's going on with that yeah that was the big thing and they announced that Ruby was leaving the show I was like okay so you know season two is going to be very weird for a lot of people you know because they're going to recast Batwoman and it's going to be someone completely different but the thing that actually came to my mind straight away and I tweeted about it straight away was you know, what's going to happen with the world's finest team up between Batwoman and Supergirl? Because, you know, when Batwoman was first introduced in the Elseworlds crossover, that was the thing that shined through the best. It was Batwoman with Supergirl. You had that again in Crisis on Infinite Earths. And that was a bond that seemed to be very strong and seemed to be like they were pushing forward for it. So you would suppose we would have like some crossovers in the future and stuff between the two shows because it worked very well between those two characters. So I'm not sure what could be happening, but I'm guessing it's going to be very different their relationship if this new version of Batwoman does cross over with Supergirl because it's not going to be a you know recasting of ruby rose is going to be a basically a reboot of you know the season so season two is going to be a completely different character as batwoman so it will be completely different because it'll be a different person okay so let's move on to the next question this comes from sunstar on youtube who asks what's the first most likely cw crossover for stargirl so we've talked about this a few times in the past and I'm going to give you guys my opinion on what should be the first one in relation to this question because we've talked about the confirmation that the showrunners have been in talks with the people behind the flash for a crossover the fact that you know Breck the main star wants to do a crossover with Supergirl and the showrunner really wants to do that as well so let's talk about what I want and you guys can tell me what you want Stargirl to cross over with like what show do you want the first crossover to be with in the comment section down below but my opinion is I really want Stargirl to cross over with Supergirl. I think that would be a great crossover and I think the tone behind the show is maybe a bit darker than Supergirl but it definitely has the kind of levity and the you know it has a similar feel to Supergirl. There's a sort of excitement behind the show which I don't think it would be a great fit for like Batwoman or something like that or I think Legends is too kooky for it because you know Stargirl is pretty grounded even though it is pretty fun as well so you know I would say Supergirl or the flash like they've been talking about those two shows crossing over i think it makes complete sense because i think they are the most similar in tone maybe the flash is a bit more similar in tone because it's a bit darker 
but in my personal opinion, I think I would want to see a Supergirl crossover first, and then like the Flash after, or both of them at the same time. Two birds with one stone, that would be perfect. Okay, so that is it for that question. Let's move on to the next question. And this one comes from Gavin Baker on YouTube who asks, Do you think we'll see any more parallel universes? So this is a good question because this has been raised by many people online after Crisis. Since then, people, you know, on the shows, like characters have been saying, Oh, the multiverse is dead. Well, especially on The Flash because they deal with the multiverse the most out of all the shows because, you know, that's their thing. But that's actually not true because we know and we've been shown that there are still other Earths out there, but they've just been retooled and reshaped due to Crisis, but, you know, our Arrowverse characters don't know that the multiverse actually exists still, as of right now. But I'm gonna say yes, especially when we see Stargirl crossing over, because she's on the new Earth 2, I'm pretty damn sure, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I can recall, she's on Earth 2, and, you know, this is a new version of Earth 2, and, you know, to see them cross over with, like, the Flash and Supergirl, they have to find out about the multiverse and about the parallel universes still existing out there. So, yeah, I think they will find out, you know, Earth 2 exists, all these other Earths that exist, but it's just been reshaped and retooled from what they originally knew it to be. And, you know, sometime in the near future, they'll find out about that, I'm presuming, if they go along with the logic they set up in Crisis. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next question. This comes from Topsy Crypt on YouTube who asks, What are the plans for Gleek, who was hinted at during Crisis? Okay, so this is a good question as well, because, you know, we've talked about this a lot. Like, not specifically me. I don't think I brought it up in a video since, you know, the Crisis review I did a long time ago when it came out. But people online have been talking about this. And rightly so, because that was the sort of cliffhanger that they set up at the end of the final Crisis episode. I think it was the Legends episode. And so they tease Gleek, who is a character in the comics, who is a villain. And, you know, we've heard nothing of it since. And, you know, we finish the seasons. Maybe they plan to use it at the end of one of our seasons, like The Flash, Batwoman, or Supergirl. But I doubt Supergirl because they film most of the stuff for Supergirl's finale, and they put it into that, you know, final episode, which was a mix. However, I don't think they were planning to use it. I think the idea of bringing Gleek in right at the end of Crisis was just like a small little easter egg that could lead to something in the future. They've done this many times in the past, where they tease something, but nothing really comes of it, because, you know, they maybe had some sort of intent behind it at first, but then they sort of lose interest, they go down other storylines, and they just forget about it. So what I'm saying is, I think there is a potential for Gleek to come in the future, but maybe we'll have to wait till the next crossover, because maybe that will link back to how it ended with Crisis, that was the crossover, and then maybe he starts the next crossover or something like that. I don't know, something like that would be a bit interesting, but it seems like maybe something could happen at one point, but I'm not sure as of right now as to like, are they fully committed to doing something with Gleek? Because it doesn't seem like it. Because they would have done it already or, like, hinted at it again. Okay, so let's move on to the final question. This comes from Gavin Baker on YouTube who asks, Do you think Supergirl will continue on doing William and Kara since they've already seen their fans' responses? So, yeah, I think they are. They did set it up, but I think due to circumstances and how the season went, because, you know, they had to retool some of the season... They cut down episodes a long time ago, around like December time, and then they announced it a few months later. So I think there were plans to do it this season to actually make it a thing, Kara and William. But then I think due to circumstances, they've delayed it. But I think it's still in their intent that they're going to do it. And Melissa has talked about this in a recent interview. I did a video on that. Go check out. It's on the channel. And she hinted that they are going to go forward with it. So even some fans haven't responded very well to it. And, you know, some people aren't a fan of the idea of it. However, I would say, in my opinion, like, I like William. And I think that I wouldn't be opposed to it because I know that Mono is probably not going to come back. Maybe he makes a cameo appearance or something like that. Obviously, that's what I want. But I know that he isn't. So I'm fine and I've accepted that. And I don't think Kara and William is like the worst pair in the world. So we'll have to wait and see. But they have hinted that they are probably going to continue with this next season. Even if 
the fans aren't completely happy with it. So that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be included in the next video like this, please be sure to go over to the community tab on my page for a chance your topic, question, theory or idea to be included in the next video. So thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.